This tutorial will explain how to create a weekly recurring schedule for a staff member and how to create schedule exceptions using the single appointments per time slot version of Appointment Plus. A weekly recurring schedule is used when a staff member has the same schedule every week. Schedule exceptions are used when staff members do not have a consistent weekly schedule. First, we will look at creating a weekly recurring schedule. Click the staff members tab at the top. If you have not already created a profile for the staff member, you will need to do that. For this example, we will use staff member one. When you go into the staff members profile, you will see schedule and schedule exceptions on the left. Click on the schedule link on the left. When you uncheck the off boxes, you'll notice that it defaults to the open hours. You can change these hours as long as it's within these hours, or you can leave them as they are. So I'll leave them as they are and click update. Now I'm going to the appointments tab to take a look at the schedule. So if I scroll through the weeks, you'll notice that the schedule is the same each week. Now let's go back into the staff members tab at the top and we'll take a look at schedule exceptions. So we'll go into staff member number one. If you plan on using schedule exceptions every week for your schedule, you want to make sure that you have no schedule set up. So I'm going to go into schedule on the left and close off every day. And update. Then I'm going to go into the schedule exceptions link on the left. So what you will do is select the date of the schedule that you're creating. So we'll go to April 19th. And then you set up the hours for that day. We'll do 9 o'clock a.m. until 5 o'clock p.m. and add. So as of right now, this staff member only has hours for one day, Monday, April 19th. So you would create the schedule for every day that this person works. So I can make another one. I'll go to April 22nd. And again, these hours need to be within the company hours that are in the settings tab. So we'll do 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. and add. So let's go over to the appointment grid. And you'll notice on the calendar on the left, only April 19th and 22nd are highlighted. Those are the only two available days for staff member one. So we're gonna to go to April 19th. And I'll show you how to schedule an appointment. So you can either click on the open time slot in the plus sign or the white space. And it will open the window to fill in the contact information for the customer. If the customer is scheduled with you before and they're already in your database, you can just select their name from the drop down menu. Or if you're using the search box option, you can type in a couple letters of their first or last name and any matches will pop up. Everything with a red asterisk is a required field. The customer notes box is where you can add notes to be saved in the customer's profile. Any notes that you add here will be date stamped and you'll see those notes here on any future appointments that the customer has. Then you go to next. Select the service. Everything else will be pre filled for you. You can always adjust the duration if you need to. Any notes that you put in the special instructions box can display in the email notifications that go out to the customer. Appointment notes internal only are notes for staff to see only, so the customer would never see any notes that you put into the appointment notes box. Then you go to next. As long as you have the checkbox checked on the left under notifications, it will send the appointment confirmation email to the customer when you click the finalize appointment button.
then you can go ahead and close that window and you'll see the appointment you just scheduled. If you need to change the status of an appointment, you can hover over this little box here with the different colors and you can change it to confirm, complete, or no show. You can also create custom statuses. So you can go into your list tab up here at the top and you do have appointment status types on the left. If you need to cancel an appointment or reschedule it, you can click on the customer's name, click the cancel appointment button here and that will remove the appointment from the schedule or you can edit the appointment and change the service. You can change the date, time, or add notes to it. Save and close when you're done. And if you wanted to send an email to the customer with their updated appointment information, just make sure you have that box checked to send change email to customer. You can also have it send a change email to the staff member. And then save appointment. And close the window. If you have any questions about creating a recurring schedule, schedule exceptions, or scheduling appointments, feel free to contact our support department. We'd be happy to help you. Thank you.